good, everybody? So last night, the Oklahoma City Thunder, they fell 3-1 to the uh, Portland Trail Blazers. They lost again at home, which which to me was surprising. I thought they were going to, you know, win both games at home, tie up the series, and potentially try to get that that uh, series leader when they went back to Portland because I just don't see Oklahoma City uh, winning a game in Portland. Um, but they lost. Uh, you know, Russell Westbrook was very quiet in the third and fourth quarter. Started off the game really good. Started off the game by hitting a nice three in, uh, you know, in Lillard's face. He got hyped. You know, this this has been a very, very competitive, uh, gritty series. And, uh, you know, it's really Russ versus Damian. And, you know, Damian Lillard has, you know, he's always been... Uh, underrated as far as the point guards in the NBA because he's on the team that's not as popular as the other teams and you know Westbrook and, and Dame man they they've been going at it a lot um but I, I, I've realized something about Oklahoma City and what I realized is Russell Westbrook shouldn't be playing point guard I think he should be playing shooting guard now, I know a lot of people are going to comment and say, yo, you're crazy. What are you talking about? But just think about it. Um, you know, when I think of Russell Westbrook, like when I think of who can I compare Russell Westbrook to? And the first person that pops up in my mind is Allen Iverson. Um, West, Russell Westbrook is literally an athletic Russell Westbrook. Their game is pretty much the same exact way, even as far as their attitudes is the same way. Um, you know, they're very aggressive. They attack the paint. They're not very good at shooting threes. They're 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 great in the inside. They're great at forcing themselves in the paint. They're great at creating shots in the paint, and they're uh, they're good mid-range shooters. But when it comes to shooting that three. Um, they're just they're just not good at it, man. Allen Iverson had the same issue. Allen Iverson was never a great three point shooter, but he was able to make three point shots, you know, in the most awkward situations. You know, a guy a guy like Russell Westbrook, you know, he has a better chance of, of making a contested three than a wide open three, and that's just because he's not a pure stand up shooter. You know, he's an attacker. And Allen Iverson is an attacker, you know what I'm saying? Which is why I say like they're they're the same exact players. Just Russell Westbrook is way more athletic. Um, some would say he's more dominant. I don't think he's more dominant than Allen Iverson. I think Allen Iverson in his prime is one of the best shooting guards of all time. But when it's all said and done, Russell Westbrook will most definitely be in that same. You know what's even crazier? They both went to the finals. Like, like it's crazy how much these guys got in common, man. Allen Iverson went to the finals just like Westbrook did, and he lost. I think uh, AI lost in the finals to who? The Lakers, I believe. And Westbrook lost in the finals to the Miami Heat. So, I mean, look, bro, like, <laughs> they're the same thing, man. It's just history repeats itself, you know? Um, and Allen Iverson was a shooting guard. You know, a lot of people don't know that Allen Iverson was never a point guard. He's a shooting guard that plays point guard. You have a lot of shooting guards from college. They come into the NBA and they're moved to point guard. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, Allen Iverson was a shooting guard playing point guard. Russell Westbrook, in my opinion, is a shooting guard. He just happens to play point guard. Um, when you just look at his style of play, he doesn't he, he doesn't play like an all-around point guard. You know what, Russell Westbrook, um, I think he would fit much, much better playing shooting guard in OKC. Um, I think Dennis Schroeder should come off the bench. I think Dennis Schroeder should play point guard because Dennis Schroeder, I hope I'm saying his name right, but Dennis Schroeder on, on uh, OKC, he was starting when he was in Atlanta uh, last, uh, last year. You know, he's a starter. He's just a starter that's on the bench because obviously he's on the team with a guy like Russ. But I think they should put him into the starting lineup, put Russell Westbrook at shooting guard, PG at the three. Um, you know, and from there, man, I think they would be much better, man. I think Dennis Shooter would do a much better job giving everybody the ball because a guy like Russell Westbrook, you know, he can he can cut to the basket. He, he's gonna get open. You know, you, you're not gonna you're not gonna lock down Russ off the ball. Russ is too athletic. He's too fast. He doesn't get tired. He has too much stamina. He's a guy that could score. I think he, because the thing is, this is the thing with Russell Westbrook, right? This is the problem when it comes to the playoffs. 
The reason why Russell Westbrook has so much trouble in the playoffs is because he plays two different styles of play in the regular season, and he plays a different style of play in the playoffs, which is why he keeps getting eliminated out of the first round. They didn't know what the hell to do last year when they had Carmelo Anthony. Russell Westbrook is just not the guy to be leading a team with Paul George and Carmelo. That was a super team. I don't give a fuck what any of you say. And for all of you people that sat there and tried to blame Carmelo Anthony last year, you're seeing you're seeing the same thing happen this year without him. And if they had him, they would have been winning this series against the Trailblazers because the fact of the matter is OKC does not have enough shooters. The only shooters they have is Paul George. Uh, they got Grant, who who he, he's a decent shooter, but he's not an elite shooter like the other people in the NBA. Um, you know, uh, they don't have any shooters, man. Dennis Schroeder can hit a three if he's wide open, but he's not going to make it consistently, which you saw last night. Um, they just don't have enough shooters, man. They just don't have enough shooters on that team. Um, and that's been a problem for a while. So, you know, last year, man, Russ, he just wasn't like like the problem last year and the problem this year is when Russell Westbrook is bringing that ball up court, everybody's just standing around. Nobody's moving around. No, they're not setting plays. Like, it almost makes me think, like, I, sometimes I think Billy Donovan draws up plays and Russell Westbrook just ignores it. Like, seriously, like, pay attention. Every time Russ brings that ball up the court, it's one-on-one -on -one basketball. He's either passing it to, to, uh, to the power forward, the dude with the ponytail, or he's passing it to Paul George, and it's always one-on-one -on -one basketball. You don't see that with teams like Golden State. Um, you know, they have to do a better job facilitating that ball on offense because it's too many times where they bring the ball up the court and everybody's just standing around waiting on Russ to do something and that's because of how Russ plays during the regular season during the regular season it's usually Russell Westbrook just forcing himself in the paint dunking it laying it up or going to the free throw line or he's running up pulling up from the mid-range or he's running up shooting a three um he's just not a true point guard like a person like Chris Paul a person like Kyrie Irving a person like Steph Curry these guys aren't just scorers because they are all elite scorers these guys are playmakers man especially Chris Paul I think Chris Paul is like the point god like Steph Curry is a, is a point guard Kyrie is a point god but CP3 man like Chris Paul is the point guard, bro. That man right there, man, is just like he's on another level as far as point guards. He could possibly go down as the best to me. Like, I know Chris Paul doesn't have a ring yet, man, but man, when you really watch Chris Paul play basketball, man, it's like, it's just like, wow, like this is the true definition of what a point guard is. And he can score. So that's the problem, man. Russell Westbrook is just not a true point guard. Um, he needs to play shooting. I've heard the only person I've, I've heard say this in the media is Skip Bayless, man. Shout out to Skip Bayless on uh, Undisputed. He's the only person that I've heard say this before because I don't see enough people talking about it. I think if Russ switched positions and played shooting guard, I think a lot of the problems with OKC would go away. Now, obviously, they need shooters. Um, hopefully, this offseason, they can sign some shooters. And, you know, that's the, the thing is, though, like, when you've been playing point guard for so long in your career, you know, it's it's tough to just say, you know what, I'm going to change positions. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I think if Russ could put his ego to the side and, you know, play shooting guard, I think the team would be much better because when Russ has the ball in his hands, man, good things just don't happen, man, especially in the playoffs, which is why the last uh, two or three years, his ass is getting bounced out first round. His his style of play at that point guard position is detrimental to the entire team. So with that being said, let me know what you guys think, man. Do you guys agree with me? Because I know, I know, um, this is a very bold statement, but I, I truly believe this, man. Do you guys agree? Do you guys think Russ should play shooting guard, or does the team just need to be better overall? Let me know. I'm out. Skirt.